First of all, thank you, Chris, to give us this opportunity. We are very honored and we want to bring here some light for what is going on in Brazil. My name is Eduardo Bolsonaro. I'm the most voted ever congressman in the history of Brazil, also son of President Bolsonaro and former chairman of the Foreign Affairs and National Defense Committee. I have always warned in my speeches in the Congress about the dangers of my country turning into a Cuba or Venezuela with their concentration camps. Today, unfortunately, I live in my own movie about, about the Gulag. And for those who think I'm exaggerating, I will sit here few simple names. Philip Martins, the international advisor to President Bolsonaro, as Jared Kushner was to President Trump. A brilliant young man in his 30s with a promising future, imprisoned by an exception tribunal, accused of a coup d'etat never attempted or planned, and without the hope of minimally fair treatment, as due process and broad defense no longer exists in Brazil. Colonel Camara, the Bolsonaro security detail, who is now also in jail, accused of an imaginary coup d'etat. And like them, veterinarians, gospel singers, sign language interpreters, comedians as Bismarck Fugas, and even a homeless and a person diagnosed, diagnosed with a high degree of autism, all of them imprisoned, accused of a coup d'etat. It's very clear that all this oppression and cruelty is just a step towards the ultimate goal to imprison my father, the president who dared to put the interests of Brazilians first. My father is now prosecuted and slandered in the most various ways. As in every tyranny, the limit of the ridiculous no longer exists, and he even faces the accusation of having committed the terrible crime of disturbing a whale. That's not a joke. He's criminally charged for passing by a whale on a jet ski. And the most impressionable thing is, thing is the complaint was made by Lula da Silva's environmental minister. This is more ridiculous than what Trump's charge, than what Trump is having uh, as charged here in the United States. My father is also accused of attempt, attempting a coup d'etat when he was no longer president, the judiciary appointed by the Communist Party in power want us to believe that my father waited to leave power and, when he no longer had the armed forces under his command, attempted a coup d'etat with elderly and unarmed women, all of these thousands of kilometers away from Brazil, when my father was in vacations in the United States. Going to the end. They want us to believe, Mr. Chris Smith, that women, elderly ladies, and all kinds of ordinary citizens, unarmed, are a danger to the rule of law. And those violating the rights and fundamental guarantees, guarantees are the saviors. Ladies and gentlemen, these stories are not something that someone told me. We are living this right now, and with not even a single word from Biden administration, State Department, or any governmental authority from the homeland of democracy, the United States of America. The dozen colleagues that are following me here also will talk about terrifying situations. Brazil, unfortunately, is not a democracy anymore. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Eduardo.